Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to import custom excel file in SQL Server using C Sharp or SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber Devashish and he said that he has an excel file which contains three columns like name, date of birth and age. If you see there are four records in this particular file and after fourth record the fifth record is blank and in the sixth record uh, there is a comment that this file is generated by Power BI on this particular date. So he said that because the number of records can change for example in this file we have just four records but in the actual file we can have 1000 records or 2000 records. So he want to import all the records from this particular file except this blank record and except this particular comment which is the last line. So he said like uh, can you see if you can make a video on this one or you know how we can do this particular thing. So let's jump to the demo. I have written a C sharp console app where we can read that particular file. So let me first of all open the file and show you how we can write the code to import this particular file. So if you see that if somehow we can just read the information from this particular file. So the first line is the header information then we got the data okay. So what we can do is actually that we can check the value of the name column okay so if the name column is blank then we can ignore that particular row and then in the seventh row there is a comment that this file is generated by power bi so what we can do we can check the first four characters and we can compare if the value in the name for the first four character is this then we can ignore that particular row as well so if the row is empty or if the first four characters of the row are this then we can ignore the record otherwise we can load rest of the data from the file ok. So what I have done I have written a code in the C sharp console app and I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment as well and this code can be used to just import the normal excel file as well if you don't want to delete for example something you just want to import everything then you can use this code as well. So I have written this particular function here insert excel records and let me just tell you what we are doing here. So in the first line we are just defining the location of the excel file that you want to load. So we want to load this names.xls file and then we are using this particular provider to read the data from the excel. We are just making a connection here and then this is the query that we are using to read the data from the excel file. Okay, Select name dob age from the excel. So these are the columns name dob age and this is the sheet one. So we have, we have written the sheet one dollar here ok. Now we are just creating a SQL command variable here opening the connection to read the data from excel file just declare a data set here and then creating a data adapter here and then we have filled the data adapter and now we have declared a data table here and then whatever was available in the excel sheet we have assigned it to excel dt. So this is the most important part of this particular code that what we are doing that we have declared a int i variable and the loop is starting in the reverse order so uh, data table dot rows dot count minus one so the loop will start in the reverse order that the first this particular line will be read then this particular line will be read okay so it will be read in the reverse order and the loop will run until the value of the i will be equal to zero okay and every time we will reduce one value from the i so we have declared a local variable a string of sr here and then what we are doing that we are checking like how many characters are there in the name. So for example because we are going to check the first four characters so in case if they are less than four characters then we should check like like how many characters are there in the first name ok. So we are assigning it to ln and then we are assigning the value of the name column into this particular local variable. Now we are checking that if the length of the name is greater than or equal to four then what we are doing we are assigning the value from the name column into a local variable sr ok and now this is one of the main tasks that what we are doing we are checking that if the value inside the name for a particular row if it is null or if the value is blank or if the value of sr the first four characters are this then what we need to do we need to delete that particular row ok otherwise we don't need to delete the particular row. Now in our case because the first four characters for this particular row will be yes so this particular condition will become true and this particular row will be deleted virtually it won't be deleted from the file but it it will be deleted virtually in the code and now because the value of the name is blank so that's why this particular row will be deleted as well ok and now 
we will make these changes that the two records will be deleted from the excel file it won't be deleted from the excel but it will be deleted from this particular excel table from the data table okay and now once we are done with the changes then what we are doing we have declared a sql connection here and this is the connection string my sql server instance name is this one and this is my database name work and now we are using a sql bulk copy and my destination table to which i want to insert the data to is student and it contains three columns name date of birth and age so this is a column in the sql table and this is the column in the excel file okay and this is the column in the sql table and excel file sql table excel file okay and then we are just opening a connection writing everything to the sql server table and then closing the connection so this is what we are doing here and uh, let me show you that there is a student table on my sql server so in my sql server instance on the work database i got a student table and it contains three columns name column name worker 100 date of birth worker 100 and the age which is of integer type so at the moment if you select data from this particular table so the table is empty okay and now let me just try to execute this particular code so it should insert the four records from the excel file into the sql server table so the code ran fine and these four records should be inserted to the excel file so now let me try to select the data from the student table so now you can see that the four records got inserted to the sql table and suppose if i want to add more data here suppose let me add two more columns so what i can do i can just copy the first two records and paste it here and save the file maybe i can close it let me just truncate the student table so this time it should insert six records into the sql server table so let me execute the code from here so the code ran fine and let me execute the select query again so now you can see that it inserted six records into the sql server table so i think this is how you can just uh, check like if you want to delete any record or if you want to do something with a particular row then you can use this particular code and for example if you want to import everything from an excel file then what you can do you can just delete this particular code and you can insert the data so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much